Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, of course I forgot to talk to the person who gave me the side quest in the end. Um, so let's do that now. <laughs> the island seems so much more tracked, quiet, <laughs> peaceful. Could it be? You cleared out the mo monster strongholds? All three of them? Oh. Uh, you're amazing. Oh, you don't even know how big a help that is. Perfect timing too, since I just saw a pirate oh. ship coming in. But as soon as the ship rounded the back of the island that disappeared. Well, I found that one too. A cave? Hidden around the back of the island? And there was a pirate ship? You beat every single pirate on the ship? Um, holy cow, you're like a one-man monster control crew. I mean, I'm part of a monster control crew and I still lost my nerve. Thanks to you, I can finally breathe Whoa. easy. I, I should probably give you something. Accept this. I'll take it. <laughs> Weren't expecting something that rare, were you? I picked it up on the previous Monster Control Crew expedition. I've been holding on to it as a lucky charm all this time, but you'll probably get more use uh, out of it than I would. <laughs> now then, time to put together a report on what happened here and finally leave. Once I'm back, I'm turning over a new leaf. M no more scaredy Sasami. I'm going to be capable and courageous like you. So thanks for the help and the inspiration, mister. I hope I'll see you around. Um, Alright, thank you. I'll take it. Um, well, we haven't gone into the chasm. I mean, the sh the light route is gonna be like right there. And we got an old map here. Oh man, you know what? I'm I'm gonna check this island out and this cave. And then we're gonna come back here and go into the chasm. Uh, so I'm gonna see you around here in just a second. Alrighty, here we go. We have not seen this beach before. I'm gonna check it out from above though. Because for now it looks fairly empty. There might be some crabbies. Um, but I think we're just gonna fly. Oh. Um. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take care of you guys. Oh, we need to go to the depths and get more muddle buds. Last time I didn't even find as many as I thought I would. But it wasn't, it wasn't too successful in that sense. Okay, let's try and take care of some of the black ones. I have an ice weapon that should be good enough. It's not as strong, but ice is always good. Okay. <laughs> a burning ice weapon. <laughs> That's crazy. I did not think that would work. Aw, Chulin landed a headshot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So I'm gonna go in. Why was he only frozen for like half a second? Okay. That was not your best shot. Oh. Blinky, you might wanna yep, get away from there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nice. Uh, fun weapon. Oh, let's get the, the guts. They seem rare. Um, and this one's still good enough too. Okay. We do get a boat probably also to get out there. But first of all... We're gonna go check out that cave that I marked on my map. I don't need you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, I can't see a cave yet. <laughs> I hope it's not up there somehow. <gasps> I'm hoping it's just like right there to the right or so. We do get lots of materials for boats. So wherever you want, you can build a boat to get. Where's the cave, though? We get a, like a, a sled, I guess? We get stuff for a boat, but where's the cave? Okay, let's circle around, maybe. Um, because it doesn't seem to be here. And then we can hopefully use this boat to get to the tiny island as well, because I'm suspecting some Koroks there. One Korok. Okay, this should be the entrance, then. We're fairly quick. I like it. Outfit. 
Outfit, outfit, outfit. How do I get in? Do I have to use the scent here? I can't. Not everywhere. Um, there was a spot though. Why, why, why only so few spots? I mean, how else would I get in, right? This has to be a rock action. Let's move the boat. Uh, let's move my boat back a bit. Because I feel like there was a spot where I could ascend. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna check if not I can click B. Because <laughs> this is a long swim. Yeah, yeah, no, this takes me up to the top. I mean, that's cool, but no, thank you. <laughs> but wh how do I get in then? I can't dive. Mm. Uh, they give me a thingy here. I mean, it's probably there to stand on and use a scent. Why else would they give me this? But I cannot use Ascend here. And if I go further back... Then... Um, then it takes me all the way up to the mountain. Maybe further... Like closer to the door? Still a very long swim. <laughs> I don't think so. No. Okay, how do I get in here? Do we get any indication on what to do? The spikes show... Like, they point to that, that spot there. But I was taken out of the cave. Um, yeah. Link. A bit of cold. Um... What happened? Oh man. Maybe that stalactite thing? But I'll be taken out of the... out of the cave. I should have moved my boat instead. <laughs> okay, let's hope this works. But I don't think so. <laughs> but I have to try. Okay, I can't even use a send here. Wait, what? Wait, what did I do? There's another ship. What did I do, though? What did I do? Okay, I'm gonna have to rewatch that part in my recording. I don't know why that thing opened up. Maybe I did have to, like, touch it with my boat or so? I have no clue. Okay, let's find that outfit and the frog. Um. We've got some fishies. Um, could I take my boat over there, maybe? I'm so confused. Maybe I probably had to, like, touch the gate or so. Something like that. Let's maybe circle around. Have a look at everything. Okay, that's where the froggy is. Let's maybe take care of that first. And we'll get the treasure. Then we can check the boat and I suppose that's where um, the outfit's gonna be. Uh, I don't use this. I, I wasted that ruby. So. Well, let's get the frog. So we don't forget about him. At least they give you like these platforms everywhere in case you swim somewhere 
and then need to like for example in this case shoot which you can't do um, without standing somewhere oh. so how do i turn around <laughs> okay let's use that platform i was just talking about because then i can grab my boat and turn it around Come on. Okay, and let's grab the thingy. I hope it doesn't disappear before I get there. Okay, nice. Um, we've got eight. I don't know when it makes sense to go back um, to Colton. I mean, when do you know if you have all of them? How many are there? Like, don't tell me, but how many are there? <laughs> Um, okay, let's climb. This might be the worst spot to start a climb. Maybe I can use a scent though. Get closer. I think sometimes you're difficult. Let's move in here. Yep, nice. <laughs> um, and then let's get whatever outfit we can find here. It would have made sense to find like a barbarian something, but we already have that. We woke up the dead guys. Um, do I need to kill them or can I just ignore them maybe? That would cool. Um, there's a big one too. Is that where the, the outfit's gonna be? But usually they're in the shrines. Um, well, maybe it's different for this one. Nope, but I'll take this too. Um, do I have to kill them all, maybe? I mean, these are like the dead pirates, I guess. <laughs> um, and I do believe we're gonna have to find a shrine thing. Uh, that's dangerous, actually. You're dangerous. You lost your own weapon in your own attack, though, so... Don't feel too good about yourself. Okay, that should have been all of them. Lots of arrows in here. So if you're low, grab those boxes. This didn't help me a lot, though. Outfit-wise. It could be here, but I think it's gonna be in some special place. Oh, it is here! Tingle's tights! I already have a part of Tingle's outfit, don't I? Yeah. I do. The thing is, all of these need, like, um... I think dragon parts or star fra I think star fragments it was, to upgrade. And I don't have them. <laughs> Well, that's fine. Um, Link, don't climb. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, we can definitely take that star off. It, it, the cave wasn't here. Okay, um... Then it's time to go to the island. I think I can just take my boat if I find it. I should definitely heal. I don't feel comfy with the amount of energy that I have left. Uh, let's take the boat, um, if I find it, and then I hope that the trip to the island is gonna be quick and easy. Okay, uh, of course I have to manually turn around my boat. And I remembered that I could do those icy platforms, so just in case you ever encounter this issue, just remember to shoot or throw an ice food into the water. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just gonna see you somewhat closer to the island. Okay, so I'm kind of glad I took out those monsters and all of them at once before the blood moon came around. <laughs> um, the, I was pretty lucky, I guess. Okay, here we go. I don't see anything yet, apart from some coconuts, which we're gonna get palm fruit. They could have called them... Oh. They could have called them coconuts. I mean, they're also called apples, apples, and acorns, acorns. They could have just called them coconuts. 
Can you... Can you climb? Oh, thank you. I also kind of feel like to go back to a great fairy. Um, because I should have enough rush rooms to upgrade my climbing shirt. Okay, there we go. Was that it? Oh, there's the blood moon. Love it. Okay, I saw another croc up there. I just skipped the blood moon. Um, and it's one of the ones that requires a rocket, and I don't have any rockets with me, but there was one lying around here. So, um... I am now going to try to take it over there. I need to detach it. So that when I start the boat, this doesn't go off as well, because all the attached thingies go off once I activate one of the things, so... Oh. But um, I'm glad they did provide me with a rocket here, because I have no idea how else to deal with these Koroks. I really think it... Oh. <laughs> I really think it might be the only way, most of the time. Sometimes they provide you with, like, heavy rocks or so, and then you can... Then you can uh, drop them... Hello? You can drop them, like, from a cliff or so, and then it would take out the thingy. But usually they don't give you anything. Okay, we can move the boats. There we go. Nice. Uh, what would I move the boats for, though? Um, let me go back and check the boats. <laughs> I mean, I could, uh, like, prepare one with fans and all. Can I? <laughs> Probably I can. I don't know why I would, but... I can attach a boat to my sword. Look at my teeny tiny boat! I could also attach a boat to a shield. I don't know what that would do. But look at the boat on my shield. <laughs> Does that do anything? If I like, um, if you try to shield serve with a shield fused with something that will get in the way, you'll fall. Okay, so I can't use the. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was ridiculous. Uh, what do what do these do? Can I maybe um, destroy the fused material and fuse this? It's a battery. That probably doesn't do anything at all either. What else was lying around here? Not much batteries, rockets. Um, I could repair a shield with a rocket. You never know when you're gonna need it. And this is the only way I can take these with me. Okay, so I, I think I'm good with this area. Let me maybe uh, go to this great fairy real quick and see if I can upgrade some nice stuff. All right, we cannot do a lot and we can actually not upgrade the climbing thing. Ah, we already did, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we can upgrade one of these. Um, let's do the pens. Ah. Mighty Thistle. I'm gonna have to find more of those then. And then I can't really do anything else, right? <laughs> Sad. Okay. Um, we can do the glide mask and the radiant tights. And then all of the radiant outfit should be on level two, actually. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Okay, and the last thing I can do is the glide mask. So why not? I forgot that you had to pay for this. Was it? Did you have to pay in Breath of the Wild? Did I just never pay attention? Oh, she can enhance more. Nice. Okay. I'm still missing the pants for this outfit. That should be it, huh? Yeah. Okay, so did the Radiant outfit get a special effect? Or does it not have one? Set bonus. Disguise bone weapon... Prof. Okay, I don't know what that does. 
Um, but we do have it. So that's at least something, I guess. Um, cool. I do need to note down what materials I need to collect so I can actually upgrade all of my stuff. All right, I came back to Eventide Island in order to check out the chasm. Um, there's going to be a light route very close and there's um, an old map spot location, so schematic. I think there were always schematics, right? Um, so it might be cool to come down here. Um, so let's do that. You ready? <laughs> okay, let's see what we're gonna encounter. I already marked the shrine, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's throw down a light root. <laughs> Bright bloom seed. That's the same. Oh! I feel like it almost crashed. Oh, this might be a section that's uh, separated from the rest. Look at that. What is this place? Okay, we've got some normal ground, like forest thing here. Should we maybe take the opportunity and get as close to... Oh no. Let's get to the light route. Um, and then there's one of those tower thingies. I didn't see, I didn't have any energy left. Oops. My bad. Okay. <laughs> At least the game saved here. I still don't know what these tower thingies do. And I don't, I'm probably not going to be able to to get the treasure in that Colosseum thing. <laughs> but let's unlock this area anyways. Yeah, 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 it's just the size of the island. That's what I thought. Um, and everything around here is just black. Oh man, but then this is not just a schematic, I think. And if it is just a schematic, it's gonna be like the hopper bike or something, like really crazy. If not, I'd be really sad. Okay, let's check out the tower. Um, I think we can basically just use Ascend and then I don't know what it does. I think it led us to one of these tiny uh, wooden house thingies. Um, we're gonna get up, we're gonna check, but I don't... Wait, no, it's gonna take me to the island. I didn't see one of those on the island, but also I, I might have not seen everything. Huh. There's people here. They weren't here before, right? Rito. The skies beckon. A visitor that's new. What are you doing here? Exploring, I guess. Uh, exploring a remote island like this very well. I'm a scholar, presently engaged in research on the mechanics of flight. Fight? Flight. Uh, Mimo and I ran into each other when I was searching for a test site where I could perform my experiments. It was he who suggested this island. Mm -hmm. Mr. Branley told me he dreamt of flying without wings. It was also intriguing. I had to get involved. Ooh. You know, I could use a test uh, res research assistant. Mm. You could just sit back and let the science happen, but no. You want all the ins and outs picked apart, fine. Ah. Mimo, fill the young man in. Ah. Yeah, see the object over there? It fell from the sky. Mr. Branley thinks it may be an ancient flying device that could be used to soar freely. But at present, it's only an untested ah. hypothesis. We need you to prove or disprove it by getting on the wings and flying to the objective. What's the objective? Ah. How about it? <laughs> Marvelous. I have to pay for it. Ah. <laughs> you should pay me! Ah. So where would I have to fly? And why weren't these guys here before? Did I have to come up here using Ascend? Okay. Oh, I see. Ah. Already, sir. As you're new to the experiment, we had best lay out the parameters. Ah. Mm-hmm. 
Aim for the center, land as close to the target as you can. Hmm. Note that you may not get off the wings until the experiment is complete, so I can't jump down when I'm in the middle or so. Okay. Ah. So is this just to get money or do I actually get something from this? Oh, I'm not used to this anymore. Not without the control unit. Oh, the music is nice. I love the music. <laughs> We need to get a little to the right. And should I already descend? I think so, huh? A little to the right. And then ascend. Uh, descend. Does that still count? It should, right? That should count as the center. It does say seven meters, though. Distance to the center, I suppose. You landed seven meters from the center. Mm -hmm. Wonderful! You look like a bird soaring through the heavens. This will push my research forward by leaps and bounds. Ah. What do I get? Okay, so it's probably possible to get um, 300 ah. as a main reward. Ah. I'm gonna try one more time and try to get as close to the center as possible. But to be honest, I don't think... Um, I don't think you can do a lot better than this. Okay, I did one meter. I don't I don't think you can do better than this. Like you can do zero, I suppose, but realistically. Okay, it does say the same thing. It was really beautiful. Here's your reward. Okay. Maybe you have to get zero in order to get 300. I don't know, but I think this is enough. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if this was triggered by me getting up here using a send. I don't know, but um, I'm not going to complain. All right, so I feel like having a little quick look at um, the Coliseum. Who knows? Maybe by now I'm able to do stuff here. <laughs> um, we're going to have to see. What do I have shirt-wise that could be nice? Um, nothing is really strong. I don't want to put on this because it's not strong enough. Maybe some shock resistance in case they battle using, I don't know, using shock fruits or whatever. You never know. I'm suspecting Lynels, uh, but I don't know if all the Colosseums are like the same. Um, we're going to have to see. How do I get back up? Uh, I think I'm going to use my shield. Oh, I will need, before I start, I will need to heal. I hope I don't forget. But first of all, we need to get up there. So let's go. Nice. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Lone Island Coliseum. Nakuda Sea Depths. That's the main the main attraction down here. I mean, I already saw the glimmering, like, the treasure that I can only open in case I kill everybody. I don't know how many enemies that is, to be fair. Um, I'm gonna save here <laughs> and we're gonna heal and put on some, I don't know what's best, um, defense or offense. Um, let's do offense and let's put on, oh, I should have crafted more strong weapons. Ah, uh, that wasn't smart. Oh, well. Okay. Let's see what they're gonna throw at us. I suppose Lynels. Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't want to lose hearts because of him. Okay. Am I supposed to be able to do this? Ah, uh, and then it's gonna be like three silver ones in the end, but that's fair. Like, after blue comes black. Okay, it's only th only two. Okay. I don't want to be too hopeful, because in the end, we might not be able to do this, and I'm going to be sad. But, I mean, if they're going to throw three silver ones at me, of course, that's going to be kind of hard. It's only one silver? 
Maybe I am supposed to be here. And he is using a shock fruit sword. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting a little crazier. Um, I need another woman. Okay. Sorry, I'm really focused. I'm so surprised because so far... This feels really doable. I'm not gonna lie. I'm somewhat hopeful. Um, let's take care of the black one. And then the silver one went back home. <laughs> You're a coward. Okay, uh, pop shroom. And then we can take good care of them. Right. Julian's helping. How many more? Wait, was this it? Oh, this was so easy. Okay, I'm surprised. I am really surprised. Positively surprised. <laughs> um, we are gonna take that stuff with with us. Um, let's see what it is. I have no clue. Oh my gosh, Midna is my absolute favorite in Gloom Resistance. A helmet much like the one Midna wore when she fought alongside the hero of Twilight. It's a rare find. Of course it is. A helmet much like the... I just read that. Okay. So, I mean, this is not the, the, the right thing, but this is the closest we can get. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I love Midna. Before the open world games came around. So before Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess was um, my absolute favorite. <laughs> I played that game so much. I loved the soundtrack. I loved the vibes. I loved the art style. After Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, that's my absolute favorite. Mm. Okay, cool. So this area is complete, complete. That's cool to know. The thing is, what do I do now? <laughs> Alrighty, I decided to come down uh, here or over here, basically. Um, I do want to uncover, unlock, whatever, this light route because it's so close. Mm, and then we're going to see how much this is going to open up. I hope it's not all of this, but it might be because there is no other shrines really. Oh, there is. Okay, so it might not be as big as I thought. Um, that's good, actually. But this is so close. Mm, I really wanted to do this, and then we're going to connect these two. And then if I still have time, I want to come down here for this one so that we can finally get to the next Bargainer statue. But this one was just so close. I really wanted to get uh, get this one real quick. And then it looks like it's going to be a fairly small area, which is good. Okay, here we go. Let's unlock this. Let's make it a small one. Yeah. Mm. It's not huge. It's not tiny either. All right, I marked some spots on the map. We're just gonna take a look at all of them real quick. I hope we don't miss out on anything. But I think this is a good uh, filler for the rest of the episode. I hope it's gonna kind of take too long either. <laughs> We're gonna see. Mm, let's eat something small. Yep. Okay, the pink one's here already, but it looked fairly simple, yeah. Okay, let's go around these guys. <laughs> um, should I maybe grab a boulder? I don't really have a weapon for it. I do have this one. Ah, it's one-handed though. Ah, then maybe not. And I'm gonna leave the boulders behind. There's the next light road, but we're gonna leave that untouched for now. Um, we have another one of these huge circles that I don't really know how to deal with. With those mushrooms also? It's the second time or so that I see this. I don't believe anything's changed. These might be connected with one of the regional phenomena or so, or like get unlocked once I killed a certain or completed a certain quest. Yeah, yeah it's the, the exact same thing. So probably there's nothing here. Okay, then we're gonna have to come back here. Um, we're gonna mark it with a star. It's 
star usually means gotta come back. <laughs> okay, moving on. Lots of pose. A monster hideout. Mm, do I want to kill these guys? I don't really feel like it right now. Um. No. We're gonna move on. I hope they don't see me. We're gonna grab some of the pose on the way. I mean, the hope is... Um, the hope is to find a bargainer statue. I might not get to it in this episode. But that's what we're gonna start the next one with then. Okay, there's more monsters. Over there. These rocks look really interesting. But as there's so many of them, I don't think it's gonna be anything interesting really. This looks like just another monster camp, but with electrical stuff going on. Can I hit you? I can. It's just a blue one. We're gonna take out all the electrical guys. Nice. Okay. And now bronze. Oh, I love these arrows where of course. I love these arrows where five of them uh, are shot at the same time. Oh, of course I did. Hmm. I, I thought once I get there, the shock thing is gonna be over already. Oh, there's an electrical one. Have I, have I seen this before? I have. I definitely need to take him out. Him and the silver are very, very dangerous. Nice. Oh, I found this for the first time. Hmm. Okay. So when these guys hit you, um, I feel like the anti-gloom outfits don't do anything. I think they're only good for when, uh, when you walk on gloom, basically. But I'm, I'm not sure. We gotta collect a little bit of sonite for the auto build. And apart from that, I think we're good. They didn't even have a treasure chest, or I didn't find it. <laughs> also a possibility. Okay. Nice. Ah, uh, there's some more bats. I'm taking these out. Nice. <laughs> it's impossible to hit them without one of these multiplier bows, basically. Or at least I never hit them. Mushrooms. Oh, another talus? Stone pebblet. It's just a baby. Just a baby talus. Thank you. Metal butts. Oh, shoo. Oh, it's a silver one, though. I don't think that's possible. I do not think that's at all possible. Uh, is it even worth the try? I feel like it's not. <laughs> um, We do have shields that are really good. We don't have as many crazily good weapons, but we have two, three strong ones. I don't know. Is that a good idea? Probably isn't a good idea. I'm making a mistake here. Defense or offense? He's probably gonna one hit KO me anyways. No matter what. <laughs> I don't know. This episode's gonna be forever long if I try this. But I was thinking maybe puff shrooms? I feel like I've never tried puff shrooms with Lionels. Okay, he's got an armor as well. That is not great. So we need bombs as well. Before I can even do anything about him. And we need a lot of them. Okay, but with the puff shrooms, at least he didn't really do any damage. <laughs> I hope this is not gonna take me like 50 minutes. 
I don't know how much damage I'm gonna deal. Okay. And once this uh, bow is broken, I'm gonna have nothing. And I only have like 13 arrows left. I thought I had more, to be honest. I really thought I had way more, but I've been using a lot, huh? Okay, how about losing your weapon? Does he do that? He does not do that. <laughs> Okay, we lost the bow. So now we're getting serious. Aren't we? Can you come, maybe? I hope he doesn't do the thing where he sh where the, the, the arrows come from above. Okay, I'm really low on bows, so now we actually have to fight. <laughs> nice, but we do need the flurry rush, basically. Or headshot, but I, I'm not good at headshots lately. Okay, shield out. Oh, okay, okay. He does not want hit KO me necessarily. Oh, it's so okay, and here's nothing to burn. So, I, ah, shoot, I couldn't, I couldn't avoid him. Here's nothing to burn, so um, he cannot. I cannot use the wind to fly and then shoot him. I don't know if that's gonna work, people. It's not, it's not gonna work. And this is with defense, and it's the only defense thing I have. What can I shoot at him? I mean, bombs is probably the best. Okay, okay. I do need to hop on. I hope the gloom doesn't do anything. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, headshot. The thing is, once the defense runs out, I don't know what to do. That's the thing. Or once my arrows run out, which is now. Now I cannot stun him anymore. Oh, but Chilling can, of course. Chilling can. Also, I don't need the... What's it called? The gloom resistance. I don't need that, actually. Or at least I'm not using it. Um, uh, I wish I could use uh, an attack boost, but I can't. <laughs> okay, fire. I can deal with fire. Maybe I can throw a bomb at him. More arrows. I did not see that. Run, run, run. Nice. Oh, oh, wind. But I don't have arrows anyway, so that doesn't do any good. Okay, fire. He doesn't attack with, like, the worst stuff. I can deal with fire. I mean, I wish I had arrows. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible without arrows. Nice. Thank you, Chilin. Oh, mount. Mount, mount, mount. I hope it's still a ghost weapon. Yeah, this is also my best weapon, right? I should have made one with a possible goblin thing, like a silver one. This is actually my best weapon. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, do I have one that heals four? I do not. That's, that's fine though. I think three is okay for now. I'm almost out of defense boost. Julian, I need your help. Okay, now I can use two and I need more food. Julian, please. I'm so close. Now I don't want to lose. Now I really don't want to lose. Oh. Okay, good thing I grabbed that. Oh, shoot. What did I just do? What did I just do? Uh, I messed that up so bad. Okay. Does quick attack do anything? Probably not. I think defense is over. I hope I can deal with it anyways. Let's throw a puff room. Maybe that doesn't happen. Okay, he actually confused himself. Um, I guess that's your problem. Where's my dazzle fruits? Does that do anything nice? Hmm, kinda? Puff room? Uh, I feel like I did better with my spear. 
Maybe I can switch to the other one once I mount him. Can you still? Yep. Yeah. Like now. <laughs> Man, I'm so close. I really want to do this now. Please don't die, Link. Oh, okay. Okay. Chillin, I need your help. I really need your help, Chillin. Um, what else did good? Well, this didn't do anything because there's no other monster around. Okay, we dazzled him. And now I need to run anyways. Fire. Oh, yeah. Chillin, please headshot him. I need you to headshot him. We need, like, two good chances. Oh, I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Run, blink. Okay, at least it didn't do anything. Link, uh, Chillin, I need a headshot. In this bit, please. Okay. I don't think I have any Sunderlines left. Nope. So we have four hearts now. I'm probably gonna die here. Okay. Ah, uh, I wish I had one more because I'm so close. So, so close. Uh, and then we're gonna throw a bomb at him. I don't think that does anything, really. Julian, I need your help. Okay, he keeps doing this attack. The bombs don't do a lot, but it's gonna kill me. Yeah. I can do this with more Sunderlion stuff and maybe a fairy. But I think I'm not gonna try again today. I'm gonna mark him on the map. Um, and I'm gonna end the episode here, and then we're gonna continue and explore the rest of this section next time. Um, but I think this was a lot of fun. I think this was cool. We were so close, I'm gonna save here, in case he attacks me while I'm talking, <laughs> so I can go back to this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for losing. <laughs> I hope you're gonna be back for the next one anyways, and take care until I see you again. Goodbye.